I'm Rosie Braidotti from the University of Utrecht in the Netherlands, where I am a distinguished professor in the humanities. I was also the founding professor of gender and women's studies of, of quite a few decades ago. I am a feminist philosopher, uh, trained at the Sorbonne in Paris in continental philosophy, studied with Foucault, with Irvig Ray, with Deleuze, Guattari, uh, people that actually combined notions of democracy and citizenship with serious um, equality and sustainability goals, believing in the power of lived experience, embodied subjectivity, and the force of qualitatively progressive ideas. And gender issues, feminist issues, are not only about quantities and metrics, they're qualitative transformations of the ways in which we become humans. My research is around patterns of thinking and knowledge production. How do we know what we know and where do we get our ideas from? It's what philosophers do. But because I was trained by people like Michel Foucault, Gilles Deleuze, Lucy Rigere, I do this as a cartographer, as a geographer of ideas. I want to know where ideas come from, what patterns of development they follow, where they land, what are they good for. I am not a fetishist of theory. I am much more a practical, applied person. Sustainability is a brilliant idea. What does it even mean? What can we do with it? How does it intersect with the aims of emancipation, emancipation of men, women, LBGT, and everything that lives. We are living in the Anthropocene. Uh, how do we care for the sustainability of non-humans? Um, and how does emancipation correlate with the freedom and equality of the non-humans? I love complexities, and I think complexity is what we need to make sense of the transversal nature of sustainability goals. Universities are, for me, training grounds for critical citizenship, discerning ways of becoming citizens, and also places where the intergenerational memory of resistance, of emancipation, can be transmitted. Without universities, we would lose a data bank of human experience of resistance, responsibility, and transformation that we will miss. Sustainability, <coughs> for me, is a multi-layered goal. I really do it with Guattari and Deleuze. It is environmental, it is social, and it is psychic or affective. You have to touch all those registers. And that requires complexity, a flair for um, sort of sensitively delicate issues. It requires precision with language and knowledge. It requires what I call moral elegance. You can't just go about saying people the, what they must do. You need to convince them, maybe seduce them into saying, do we want sustainability? We need to change. But you know what? Change can be pleasurable, change can be collective, and change is the motor of democracy. So let's change together and discuss together what models and patterns of change we can sustain together.